Hey guys, what's up? It's Looney TNT. So uh, today I actually have a question that I'm going to answer from uh, one of you guys. One of uh, one of my subscribers actually asked me a question that I thought was a uh, kind of an interesting question that I thought I'd I'd like to answer today. Now, if you're not into those type of videos, I did a 30,000 loot video yesterday. You guys can go check that out. It's uh, the loot was uh, pretty cool. There was a lot of stackables. Um, I actually got a hundred thousand pure essence, and it's uh, pretty cool. So. Let's go ahead and um, get into this. So, the question was, um, this player used to play RuneScape about a year ago. And he says, he hasn't been back since. But by watching my videos, it seems like RuneScape uh, 3 is getting a lot easier. Now, that's a, that's a great point because I've had people ask me things like that before. They're like, they watch my videos and they see these giant tabs and all these monsters killed. And they're like, man... RS3 is just too easy. Now, is RS3 too easy? You know, I want you guys to try to answer that right now. Do you guys think RS3 is too easy? Now, a lot of you guys might say yes. Some of you guys might say no. For me, that is a very interesting question because what are you, what are you determining things off of? What are your uh, what are your expectations for uh, RuneScape? I'm just gonna call it RuneScape, you know, instead of RS3. The way that I think the game is played out nowadays, as you can see, my stats I have 99s and different things, but I have like 66 agility. I have you know 71 thieving, which thieving is pretty easy, right? I have um, 69 uh, construction, so. I do have lower skills that I just have yet to max. But in my opinion, I don't think RuneScape is based off the 99 anymore. I think it's a great achievement. I think if you work hard for the 99, a casual player can um, can achieve the 99 uh, nowadays uh, uh, with a little bit of work and a little bit of effort. But I think the game is based off of the 120. I think the 120 cape is the old 99 cape. You know, back in a uh, you know uh, back in the day when you saw someone walk around with a 99 cape, you're like, whoa, can I see the emote? You know, because you know nobody knew what the emote was, right? So they're like, can I see that emote? I haven't seen it, and it was just a, a pretty exciting thing for the uh, the players. I think today, I think the 120 is the new 99. Now, Rune Labs, if you guys have uh, any uh, things for Rune Labs, you guys submit stuff. Please submit emotes for 120 capes because we really need emotes for the 120 cape in my opinion. Something different that uh, that um, switches it up. You know, I think that would be amazing. But the XP is a lot better nowadays than it once was. So the game is still just as hard because the game was never really hard. It was just really time consuming. And the game is still really time consuming. So that hasn't changed. Will you get the skills up a little bit faster? Yeah, you know, skills uh, l tend to level up a lot faster than they used to. But that said, it's not a 99 base game. I think it's based on the 120. When you see someone walking around with a 120 cape, um, when I wear my uh, 120 defense cape, I get people coming up to me all the time saying, wow, nice cape. Or, wow, nice stats. And, you know, and that's, and that's pretty... Uh, it's an amazing thing for me because I didn't get that walking around with my 99 cape. I could walk around with any 99 cape and I won't get that reaction. But now I think it's the one RS120 cape. <laughs> so, so that's pretty much what it is. So hopefully I answered your question and uh, feel free to come back to the game. It's super fun. Um, you'll enjoy it. If you don't like the, uh, the, the combat like it is, we have legacy modes and if you don't like uh, the RS3 version, we have 07, you know. Any RuneScaper is a RuneScaper. I don't care if you play 07, I don't care if you play RS3, we're all RuneScapers. And I think we need to keep our game alive, and I think we need to keep uh, the content creators um, uh, advertised and watched, you know. Slayerholic, make sure to check that guy out. You know, he's an amazing video maker. I think he should have a lot more subscribers than he does. There's a lot of people out there that do amazing content that needs your support so don't be afraid to support them and don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button okay all right guys i think that's about it and like always anything goes good
with a dragon med. <laughs>